Good day mga kagamis. Ngayon ay gagawa tayo ng floral uh, floral gum paste na pandekorasyon sa cake in any occasion. Ang mga tools na kailangan natin ay ang large cut out leaf. Petal cut out large floral tape leaf impression calyx cut out 9 inch fondant roller ball tool toothpicks foam block a medium size foam block thin in diameter shaping foam lip green gel color lemon yellow gel color brush 20 gauge floral wire 26 gauge floral wire vegetable oil and brush corn starch 1 tablespoon of uh, water with brush One and a half inch in diameter of gum paste. One inch in diameter for calyx and leaves. And one fourth inch of diameter of gum paste for our comb. First, I have to brush my rolling mat with vegetable oil. Sprinkle with cornstarch. Now we're making a gum adhesive paste by breaking this half inch gum paste into pieces. Press it and dissolve it. Let it sit for an hour. Now I'll make a cone. This one fourth inch of cone, I'll make it into a one and one quarter inch high. I'll dip my 20 gauge floral wire into my adhesive, gun adhesive paste and insert it in the center. Now I'm gonna dry it on my floral wrap overnight. Now I'm gonna tint my one and a half inch diameter of gum paste with yellow gel.
dip it with toothpick and insert it in the center or in around it. Roll it. twist and fold and then roll it again until it becomes this color all over after we roll it and uh, evenly colored I will wrap it with saran wrap and Store it in Ziploc bag. Close it. I'll do the same thing with this one inch diameter for calyx and leaves. I'm gonna wipe my hands and I'm gonna get one. Toothpick, break it, and insert it in the bowl. Roll it. Roll it. Twist and fold and roll it again until it became this even color. Wrap it with saran wrap and store it in Ziploc bag. Now, I'm gonna start making the petals. I'm gonna unroll the bowl. If it's too dry, we can always put an oil, mixable oil, to make it flexible. Pliable or flexible. I'm unrolling it now. into one quarter inch diameter. I want it moist, that's why I'm putting more oil. I don't want crack in the middle, so it's just a bit moist. I'm going to use this petal cut out. I need one petal only in a Y shape. I'm using my bow tool to cut the bottom. I lift it up and I'm putting it on top of my foam block. And I, I'm using my bow to make rappling, rapple.
now I'm gonna spread my gum paste and wrap the coin the cone that I made earlier pretend it's been dry overnight now quarter inch up there should be a quarter inch uh, high this the, the petal should be quarter inch higher than this and I place it in the center and wrap it around Put it back to where it was. Now, I need three blossoms. For my petals. Blossom number Put it on top of my foam block and cup it, cup and ruffle. Round and there. Round and cup, round and cup, round and cup, around and cup. I'm gonna put some gum paste at the bottom half and in the center. Transfer this on my block with a hole inside. Insert it. This is one, two, three, four, five. We start with petal one around halfway around one halfway. And then the three. Overlapping the first petal. No, no. The three here is the three. Overlapping the first petal. And then support the block, the base for number two petal. Four. And five. Around overlapping the first petal. Put it around like this a bit. Insert here. 
Now we will make our second blossom. Second blossom. We're gonna unroll it. I prepared to stand up because I have more pores. Remember, we need three blossoms. Making it wider. I'm gonna use the cut out petal. Transfer it here. Cupping, cup, rapple, rappling. Gently. Around and cup, around and cup, around and cup, around and cup, around and cup. Around and cup. And we will put the gum paste in the middle and around the, the bottom half of the petals. We're gonna lift this up, transfer the blossom in the center, and Remember what we did, we start with the number one, overlapping each other, three, four, two, four, four, and five. We can always curl or pinch the edges so it looks very real. I'm going to dry it here. Now I'm gonna get my third blossoms, my last blossoms, move this and place it on my phone, copying, rappling, back around and back. Around and cup, around and cup, around and cup. Now I'm gonna put adhesive the center and on the bottom half of the petals. I'm gonna lift up my rose and put my blossom on top of it, insert, I'm gonna do, remember the one first, one, one, three, two, four, And five. Now here is the rose. 
for your mother, wife, girlfriends. There. Remember, it has to be dry overnight. Let's pretend that we dried it overnight. And when we're drying it, it has to be upside down. Since that uh, it's not dry yet, I don't put it upside down because it might. It might drop. There. There's our rose. We have to pinch the, butt, the edge to make it to thin it out. Now we're making the leaves. I have to unroll my green gum paste. We're gonna make two leaves. This is my lip cut out. It's large. Oh, there. Another one. There. Now I'm gonna use my lip impression. Gonna put it on top. Let's put some. Put it on top and press my ball tool to get the impression we will cut the center with my ball tool knife Spread the gum paste and the 26 gauge plural wire in the center and fold it. Fold it. And uh, dry it for overnight. Then another one. The last leaf. I'm using my uh, gum, my tool ball to get the lip impression here's the two here's the lip impression there and then I'm gonna cut the center spread the adhesive gum gum adhesive Insert the 26 ghost dodge wire and fold. Now here is our lip, second lip. When it's dry overnight, it's gonna look like this. The floor, the impression should be on this side, should be on top. And Let's pretend this is this one, this, we're gonna do it like this because this one is not dry yet, so 
is gonna be it's gonna look like this with the lip inside lip impression inside and we're gonna wrap it with floral tape to pull the floral tape because the the face is, is yeah there, there's a adhesive inside there some more protect uh, for more stability so this is our rose now our gum paste rose thank you